Welcome to Engineering Visualization Channel. So today we are going to solve uh, the VTU CAD model question paper. Okay, so here you can see the model question paper one. In this, I'm going to solve uh, projection of point problem. Okay, this is a solid edge uh, 2024 student version. Okay, first I'm going to draw an XY line. Okay, so so we can make use of this video so that uh, many of the students have been asked for the uh, doing the solving the more model question paper of the CAD okay for them I'm doing this so guys uh, please make use of it okay subscribe to my channel and share to your classmates and friends so that they can be benefited okay so here with respect to the question here so in the question what they mentioned here so resting on the hp plane say resting on the xy line so you can see the question a point a is on hp means it is nothing but the front view that's why i have put a point and mention a dash okay and now the length uh, we should consider so here the point it is uh, the top view lying in the first and fourth quadrant both first and fourth quadrant it is lying below the xy line so that's why i'm drawing the uh, length of 30 mm so below the xy line okay you can just see first and fourth quadrant so it is below the x line that's why i am putting it and mentioning it as a okay now after that uh, see the question you can change the thickness here okay this is the new version of the software uh, that's why i'm getting a little bit of time because the commands were of different type okay so if you want this software i can share this okay this is the for top it is 35 mm withdrawn and then if it is a another point b is on uh, vp on vp means it is nothing but the uh, on vp means it is nothing but the top view and below hp so below hp means uh, we don't know how much distance it is okay what they mention here it is the line joining the front views makes an angle 30 degree with xy well the uh, the line joining the top views makes an angle 45 degree with xy so that means uh, uh, we should connect uh, with the top views with an angle of 45 degree front views with an angle of 30 degree okay that's what given in this uh, problem using this sentence we have to draw so what i'll do is here i'll be connecting the top views at an angle of 45 degrees okay so from the top view i'll be drawing an angle line uh, for, for a length of 45 so here just by randomly we can draw and then we can change the angle here so first i'm drawing one line okay and i can change the angle here you can change the thickness okay so select the line and select its thickness as 0 0.13 okay now here i'll change the angle now you can see here i'll go to angle between so before that i'll be drawing one smaller horizontal line here from at the top a okay so go to angle between and select the angle between these two lines and angle you're getting in now we can modify change it to 45 yes now it has been changed okay this is what the top view top view connecting the angles okay an angle of 45 degree so you can uh, see the question here so so another point b is on vp on uh, another point b is on vp means nothing but the top view and it should be drawn on the x y line okay so we know that the top views are connected by an angle of 45 degree so from the top view of a already we have drawn an angle line at an angle of 45 degree now i'll put the point so that top view we should be marking on the the line passing the 45 degree and on the xy line okay so the intersection of this 45 degree line and on the xy line now what i'll do is we'll be drawing another line which is uh, of angle 30 degree okay that is for uh, front views like this is downward i'll be drawing it so just randomly i'll draw it and then after that i'll change the angle just randomly you can draw uh, draw here don't worry about the length now you can change the angle so this angle should be 30 degree okay now you can see uh, the top view uh, on uh, vp means nothing but the top view it should be drawn on the x line okay another point is on vp and below hp 
and they have not mentioned any distances uh, right so we can uh, put the point here go to point and just change the thickness to 2 m okay and here i can put yes here now vertically downward is yes, another point now we need to draw with the vertical line here yes you can change the thickness of this line so i'll be making it as 0 0.13 mm change it to 0 0.13 mm here okay you can see here uh, we should uh, mention the points here okay no mention the views here so here this point is exactly b small b and this is b dash you can see the top views are connected by angle 45 degree and front views are connected by angle 30 degree now we have to uh, find out this distance you can see what they mentioned uh, find the distance of the point b from hp okay so that distance we need to find out so we just measure it using span dimension so that completes the problem guys uh, subscribe to my channel and like the video and share to your friends and uh, classmates so that they can be benefited now we move on to the second problem that is a line problem so here what given the distance between the end projector through the end points of the line ab is 60 mm the end a end projector distance given 60 mm okay the end a is 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so here uh, first we need to draw the locus lines for the end point of the lines for the end point distance they've given 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp so first what i'll do i'll be drawing an x y line okay and marking vp hp because we know that from projection of line onwards we need to use only first quadrant okay so draw x y right x y vp hp and y now we need to draw the locus lines you can see here 10 mm above hp and 15 mm in front of vp okay so i'll be using here offset command so selecting x y so here i can define the distance i'll type 10 mm here so it will be above so give accept okay In the same way i'll be uh, drawing 15 mm below guys anyone want this uh, software that is student version i can share the link okay how to download also i can make a video so now you can see end uh, b is 35 mm in front of ap so the another end point uh, end point of the line distance uh, and they have given okay so step by step i'm going to do it so closely you can uh, follow and try to understand okay so in this problem they have given only here uh, the line ab appears 70 mm means it is nothing but your apparent length you need to find out the true length here okay So first I'll be drawing 60 mm uh, um, line here from this end. Horizontally I'll draw it. Yes, 60 mm. This is the distance between the end projectors. Okay, 60 mm I'll mark. Okay. After that uh, we need to consider another uh, I'm drawing the another locus line that is at a distance of 35 mm in front of vp okay <coughs> for uh, and we i'll be going to the offset command so typing 35 from the x y line okay x y line and draw so it is also done now you can see we have done this till here so now after this uh, already i have drawn here 60 mm uh, uh, projector line guys so and here in the question the given the line ab appears 70 mm long in the front view means it is nothing but the apparent length in the front view that is a dash a dash uh, b dash distance they were given in the question okay 
complete the projections and find the true length of the line and its inclinations with hp and vp okay inclinations we need to find out so no inclinations given in the question guys here okay so you need to be careful in solving this problem okay so at the 60 mm water level, i'll be drawing one vertical line okay so that we can get the exact end points here okay so this projection on left projection of line is uh, totally the concept based uh, subject guys so we should not draw line line of length there it is 70 mm uh, this one but i don't know the angle so i cannot able to do it there so because we don't know how much angle it is right we cannot able to do it so you can see there are uh, now vertical line i need to draw it's totally concept based projection of lines guys here as vertically over line on line i'll draw as i mentioned so that i can get the end point exactly here okay where we have to end it so at the end we are drawing one vertical line guys, uh, guys that is uh, connecting uh, the open front tube a dash b dash like that the same way here also we are drawing it okay so now in the front view i'll be drawing 70 mm line now okay because we don't have any angle right so for that uh, we need to do like this so here uh, to find out the commands little difficult because you're not used to it okay so here you can show the distance so here the distance it is 60 m that's what i'm showing here now again go to line here you need to draw a line of length 70 mm that is upper end line now you can easily connect okay yes this is 70 mm upper end length so you can mention a dash b dash okay one length we got it now this upper end length we should rotate so we know that we always have to rotate the upper end length we never rotate the true length of lines okay guys you can like the video subscribe to my channel and if you want to join you can join for uh, this membership it is only 111 rupees 19 rupees per month and it is you can cancel at any time so take uh, arc by center measure 70 mm because we need to rotate this okay rotate it and then project downward so rotating it and projecting downward we get the true length now okay just draw a vertical line here okay so this is 70 you can show this is apparent length which is given we need to find out the true lens right so i have been projected till the locus of 35 okay i can trim it that extra length okay so now join it uh, so for the end points uh, we should connect right so from a dash we don't have the exact point from here i'll be drawing one vertical line downward yes this point is a okay now join this a and that end end point we have joined right so join it that is nothing but the true length so to show the difference here i'll be drawing the this uh, true length by thick line by 0.50 mm okay so we got the true length so we know the true length in top view exactly equal to true length in front view so end points also we got it so at the end point of b dash i'll be drawing another locus line here we know wherever the end points of the lines exist we need to draw the this uh, locus lines okay i'll be drawing the locus line so here exactly at this point i'll be drawing the locus line okay so true length we already got it is 84.4 the same length i'll be drawing the another true length 
okay joining this locus line type the same name that is how much it is 74.44 and enter and then merge with this where it is exactly cutting this point right just join there and show the dimensions so it is 74.44 guys that is true length same true length in top view and true length in front view will be same okay now we need to get another upper end length upper end lens will not be equal guys okay you know this concept right if you want to refer you can refer my playlist of projection of uh, lines you can understand all the concept so draw projection line vertically downward go to arc by center now yes in this command we get it so select distance from here to here and then cut an arc till here locus of 35 yes okay now you can join using line so now we are getting another upper end length upper end length in top view we are getting so this is <coughs> ab so we can mention that so guys uh, we can measure all the distances angle between and all okay we got it both upper end lengths and upper end angles two lengths and two angles everything we're getting it so just to zoom it little bit okay sometimes uh, you cannot be able to get the exact line so 29 degree 31 degree so we need to measure the angles right so guys thank you all thank you for watching my video so subscribe to my channel and share to your friends and classmates who can be many benefited and you can join this my channel at a very less price of 119 rupees and you can cancel at any time guys thank you all thank you for watching my video so i'll be sharing another uh, next videos of this uh, model question paper one so you can uh, get this uh, solution um, definitely very soon i'll be working on it thank you for your support thank you all thank you for watching video